The independent standards process found that a member broke the rules on paid lobbying. Yeah. Yeah. Surely the Prime Minister accepts that this is and should be a serious offence. Yeah. Yeah. Yet we have seen reports that he will respond by scrapping the independent process and overturning its verdict. In no other profession in our country could someone be found guilty by an independent process and just have their mates vote them back into the job. Surely, surely the Prime Minister and his government are not going to do that today. No, Mr Speaker, of course we're not going to do that, because a paid lobbying, Mr Speaker, paid advocacy in this House is wrong. With the issues in this case, which involved a serious family tragedy, Mr Speaker, is whether a member of this House had a fair opportunity to make representations in this case, or whether as a ma- and whether as a matter of nat- natural justice our procedures in this House allow for proper appeal. If it was a police officer, a teacher, a doctor, we would expect we would expect the independent process to be followed and not changed after the verdict. Yeah. It's one rule for them and one rule for the rest yeah. of us. Uh, Mr. Speaker, all the professions that she mentions have a right of appeal, uh, Mr. Speaker, and, I, and that is what the, that is what the House needs to needs to consider. And may I respectfully say to her? That I, I believe that she needs to focus, instead of playing politics on on this issue, which is what the, which is what they which is what they are doing. I think that she needs to consider the procedures of this house in a spirit of fairness. When they break the rules, Mr. Speaker, they just remake the rules. Yeah. Yeah. And I know that Donald Trump is the Prime Minister's hero, but I say to the Prime Minister, I say to the Prime Minister, in all seriousness, he should learn the lessons that if you keep cheating the public, it catches up with you in the end.